Good evening. I almost said good morning. Good evening. It is the Martin Report. My name is Greg Powers, living the dream, and it is Thanksgiving weekend. It's snowing out. Look at that. Well, you know, when it's that close, it looks really intense. That's not really that intense, but what a great picture of the village right there. Yeah, it, it is. We have Sandy Bell with us, the uh, your friendly food and beverage uh, person here uh, with us tonight. And of course, it's Watch and Win tonight. Yeah, so you know what that means. We're going to give away all kinds of stuff, and then we're going to give away a grand prize, which will be these Lucent heated sensor mitts. You know, it's getting cold out. Someone's going to want these. And uh, you can win them if you qualify and win something this weekend. We'll do a grand prize drawing on Sunday. And I hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Did you? I did. Did yeah. you? I, I did. I had a really bad turkey. It oh, wasn't very good. I had a great one. I'm not even sure it was turkey. Turducken, maybe. I, I don't know what it was. <laughs> but and then and then I compensate I hid it under my, my potato peel. You know, oh that's a turkey. Great. And then I ate pie and then I had nightmares about apples. Oh you had a whacked out Thanksgiving. <laughs> I think it was the apple pie. I don't know what it was. What maybe was it was. in it? Well I don't know, but I dreamt that that I was hurting apples. <laughs> And then, okay, yeah, I've been well, on here a long time. I've never had you talk about this. I don't know, but you know what? We're going to have a trivia question about apples, too. And we're going to talk about other things to eat. But first, we're going to throw it to Andy at the weather desk. Good, good evening, Andy. Good evening. Yes. <laughs> The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Tuning in to WSKI TV 17, time to take a check of your latest local forecast and some trail conditions as well as some info to know before you go. You can find this and much more at our website, wskitv.com. And this forecast brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Partly mostly sunny skies for the day on Saturday. Looks like a great weekend ahead. Colder temperatures, we'll, we'll still see a bit of a breeze uh, around the hill. 12 to 16 at the summit, 24 to 28 at the base with partly to mostly sunny skies, so get out there and enjoy it. We'll see things start to warm up on Sunday, 24 to 28 for your summit temperatures, 35 to 39 for your base temperatures. A southwest breeze shouldn't hardly be, no be noticeable out there, so that'll be great. And partly sunny skies, which we'll see some increasing clouds uh, throughout the afternoon, where we'll see a rain-snow event on Monday with a high of 38, a low of 30. Then it cools back down with partly sunny skies on Tuesday and Wednesday, where you'll see temperatures dropping and those snowmakers will be able to get back out there doing what they do, especially down around the base area. Saturday, November 25th, Birchwood Interior is bringing you a trail port. 11 trails to ski and ride on two lifts, getting you there. 10 trails or 11 trails on the groomers list. Machine groom, frozen sand, granular surface out there. So get out there early for that best corduroy. Snowmaking on upper narrow gauge down to PV, as well as Competition Hill and the PV Trail, Spillway, Boardwalk, and the Landing. And they'll groom everything that is open, including Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, Candy Side, Bridal Chain, and the Timberline Trail. Mountain bike trail conditions. Things are closed out there as we wait for some more snow and things to freeze up a bit. Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center, if you're looking for a great bite to eat at the cafe or want to relax or get a workout in, that's the place to go. If you're looking for breakfast or lunch, maybe some Carabasset coffee, be sure to check out Delis right in Village West. And the Shipyard Brew House is open for the season Wednesday through Sunday. Breakfast starts at 7 a.m. The Rack Barbecue, they are open as well all weekend long. Be sure to check them out for some great barbecue and the trails and steakhouse and tavern right up in Eustis Village. They've usually got music on Saturdays as well as their great steaks. And we've got watch and win shows Friday night starting at 530. We'll have one Saturday morning, Saturday night once again, and wrap things up for the weekend on Sunday morning. Be sure to check out our live quad cam streaming at our website 24-7 so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. Also check us out on social media. We've got two YouTube channels, one that streams that quad cam, one with the latest local content. And at WSKITV.com, you can now stream all of our local content. Uh, go to the live streaming button. Enjoy it, folks. I'm Jeff Kennedy, designated broker for Mountainside Real Estate. I've been a sugar loafer since 1984. I actually uh, came here as an intern out of Penn State. I fell in love with the area and I've been here ever since. Well, I've actually been selling real estate for Sugarloaf since 1984. Um, and that, that just gives you a wealth of, of experience. Um, and we know the people, we know the owners here. I mean, I've been here, being here 40 years, you get to know everybody.
We're on Main Street in the Village, open seven days a week, uh, 8.30 to 5, come see us. All right, we are back. As you can tell, no lines at the Super Quad tonight. Shocker. Yeah, but tomorrow, it will be a great day live from the Super Quad. And of course, Captain Kip will join us out there and give us the details. And this shot brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate, Sandy Bell joining us. And Sandy Bell is uh, here to talk about delicious things to eat and a great grand opening of... The Widowmaker. The Widowmaker, da, da, da. Yeah, the Widowmaker opens tomorrow. At 11. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be open 11 to 8 uh, in the kitchen and 11 to 7 on Sunday and then 11 to 6 during the week. Mm -hmm. They revamped the menu a little bit. They've kept a lot of the favorites, but they are reintroducing um, nachos again. Not the monstrous, but, no. you know, good ones. They've got a new hot chicken sandwich. Buttermilk marinated black and blue dusted chicken. Ooh. Yeah, sounds mm. awesome. Then they have an Italian combo. Um, which is capricola mortadella, salami, provolone, red onion, tomato, banana pepper, shredded lettuce, balsamic reduction. Oh, you shouldn't be giving away those recipes here on the <laughs> Ah, you do not need. You do not know <laughs> Unless you get... what they are. <laughs> How much of each thing. Well, that's true. Now, this is a new menu, and of course the favorites, uh, the nachos. Um, so the nachos are new. I had them back. Back when I ran the Widow, we yeah, did yeah. nachos. They brought them back again. Yep. They still have the Chipotle cheese steak and the Rockin' Widow burger. And, um, they've got a few new uh, beers on there. Oh, there's one called um, 13 Below. I thought that was pretty apropos for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. And they're going to be doing a lot of music. We'll go over that and the genres and stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. They're when does the music start back up again? Right... I think it's right before Christmas, the okay. weekend right before. Because we got the uh, the tree lighting next week. No, that's the a week, week after. after. I, Thanksgiving's early. You're all screwed up. Oh, right? it is. Thanksgiving <laughs> is early this year. Thank you for it reminding is. me. Because in two weeks, Bullwinkles opens up, and that's the ninth. And that's the ninth, right. Yeah. And so tell us now, uh, you, you've got some things going on down at 45 North. We've been down to see you there, and there's yeah. going to be some changes down there. Yes. So... Jen and I used to be up, Jen is the chef, and she and I used to be up at Bullwinkles running that show. And they asked her and I to come down and, you know, work at 45. So I'm working with Courtney on the front of the house, and we're going to be doing some fun stuff like uh, whiskey flights, tequila flights, wine flights, oysters, um, maybe some wine pairing dinners. So just coming up with some fun stuff. And I guess also having uh, live music. Oh, again so yeah. they do that every once in a while and jen has come up we haven't released it yet a new menu it's fantastic looks really really good in jen fashion ah so, so the food she did an amazing job with the food of bullies and now she's kicked it up even another notch so and the food of bullies is going to stay very similar to what it was because she's mm -hmm. still got her hand in it so yeah she's fantastic chef now what about breakfast Breakfast, best on the hill. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Every day. Um, and here's something I didn't know. If you are someone who lives not, you know, around here but not staying at the hotel, it's free valet service. Oh, interesting. Yeah, dinner, breakfast, whatever. They have valets. Huh. How great is that? So if someone asks to park your car, they're not trying to steal it. It's a part of the service. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not trying not to sure steal so. your right. car. Uh -huh. But, yeah, and then um, we have a drink menu also with breakfast and we're going to be um, pouring cold brew and so it's going to we're going to have some fun uh, we're going to do brunches too well, let's talk about drinks drinks you i have like drinks? to talk about drinks <laughs> <laughs> um we're going to be she's come up uh courtney worked with one of her bartenders and i have a few drinks that i'm going to add to it as well um we have a manhattan the alpine manhattan which has been really how popular. about hot drinks for frosty days Oh, we could probably come up with, uh, heat something uh, up, and uh, yeah. Uh, Bullwinkles is very good at that. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, yes, they are. It's hard to get anything skiing done when Bullwinkles is open. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. For some, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's watch and win. So, yes. uh, uh, I Let's have, do it. I have a trivia question, and um, 
We're going to ask a trivia question. We're going to give away a Snowbound hat. Ed's company. Ed's company, yeah. Snowbound, right? He huh? worked with us this summer. Ed, he Well, how was that? that the Ed that, experience. Oh, it was hysterical. Huh? It was so much fun. The and Ed all experience. that time, that mind was going and building this company, Snowbound. Nice to... Well, uh, maybe. <laughs> well, <laughs> you no, know, I'm just kidding. He, he, he gave me this mug here. Nice. Yeah, Snowbound. That looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, he was developing it all while he was with us this summer. Right. Uh, nice job. I, now, uh, I, I'm going to have to ask an, a question about apples. I, you know, <laughs> yes, I know you <laughs> and apples. <laughs> caught up on that. And uh, so we went to Ricker Hill. Um, yeah. And they, they have great apple pie, I know. by the way. <laughs> and they have apples. And, and they, uh, they, they have a shop with gifts and everything like that. And um, they have a tour of where they make the hard cider. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't been down there a long time. See well, here. when you go through, you can actually watch them. And they have this giant assembly where all the apples get dumped in. They're, don't tell me that they're going to answer the question. I haven't asked yet. I don't know. <laughs> so so what, what they do, they dump them in here, and then they go through this conveyor. And this, they go through a computer, and they actually grade the apples. They take pictures of the apples. So the computer can tell you what grade apple it is? Yeah. So, so it's not surprise me about Harry Ricker. He would have all that. It, it, it's pretty fascinating. And then it sorts them out, you know, uh, sizes and, and grade and all that. So if you've taken the tour, you'll know the answer to this question. If you haven't, well, you'll have well, to you're take out it. of luck. You're <laughs> out of luck. No apples for you. So uh, how, many, how many pictures do they take of the apple when it goes through the sorting? Two, three, seven, six, eight, nine, five. Try and Google that. <laughs> Huh? Try, see, there it is. It, wow, Andy's a genius. Look, so that's some well, hairy. That. This <laughs> might be, and uh, that's our big trip there. Uh, WSKI. Who do we have on the phone? Hi, it's Julie. Julie, how are you? Julie, how are you? Great, great. How are you? I, I'm living the dream, Julie. Have you Have you been to Ricker Hill Orchard? No, but I'm dying to go. Oh, you are dying to go. Uh, do you think you know how many pictures now? The camera, they pass right through there and they take a, a number of pictures. It's a double digit. How many times? I'm going to say 16. I'm sorry. It is not 16, but thank you for calling. Hi, who do we have on the phone? Who's this? Hi, what's your name? Six? N no. Uh, so, this whole show is going to be just one question, and hopefully, you know, we can we, we'll get an answer here. Two, three, seven, six, eight, nine. Five. It's a double digit. Six is just one. Talk to the phone, not the TV. Oh, right. No, You're talking to them. You, yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> WSKI. Who's this? Hi there. This is Adam. Hey, Adam. How are you? Uh, I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm I'm living the dream, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. And you think these mitts would fit you? Huh? You think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you might you might wear those um, if you qualify. But right now it's for the snowbound hat, and we're going to give you a WSKI travel bag and a and some poop bags too, because uh, we have some with our logo on it. If you can answer the question, how many times does the apple get a picture taken of it? I'm going to say 43. Oh, that was so close. I'm sorry. That was so close. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We only, <laughs> this, <laughs> Hi, who do we have on the phone? Joe. Joe, how many times do you think they take a picture of that apple? I'm sorry? How many times? <laughs> this is WSKI. Do you know the answer? I think I was going to say 47. Oh, no, that was what he guessed, too. But No, he didn't. Huh? Oh. It, it's not the correct answer, though. But thank you very much. It is not. That was too high. But very close. Hi, who do we have on the phone? Hello. Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Austin's father, Brett. <laughs> okay, fair enough. How many times did the apple get uh, selfied through that computer? How many times the picture? I'm going to go with 48. Oh, no, that is incorrect. Too high. Uh, too high. They're not listening. Hi, who do we have on the phone? Hey, Greg, it's Nancy. Nancy, 
<laughs> you sound confident. How many times does that apple get a picture? 45. No, I'm sorry. Oh, thank All right. It is, uh, it, it is like. All right. There it is go. less than that. Hi, who do we have on the phone? Who's this? Uh, it's Steve. Steve, how many times do you think that apple gets pictures taken? Uh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with good old luck. Three. No. Uh, <laughs> all right. But thanks for calling. That's what I meant to say. Hi. Who, who do we have on the phone? Who's this? Remember, talk to the phone, not the TV app. It can't hear you. Remember. How many, how many times? Remember. I don't know what I did. I'm sorry. 39. 39. Yes, that's correct. All right. Congratulations. All right, you got yourself a snowbound hat, and you also got a backpack. And directions to Lewiston. Stay on the line. We're going to get some information from you. And we'll be right back with Sandy Bell. Stay with us. The burger. I think the French onion soup. The bag burger. Great pizza, great burger. The Valentine. The beer. The bag burger and the pepperoni pizza. Love the bag burgers and the curly fries. Soup and Valentine. The Gucci burger. Looking at all the happy faces. I enjoy the uh, the intellectual banter. The burgers. That's easy. Atmosphere and the company. Delicious. I'm Jeff Kennedy, designated broker for Mountainside Real Estate. I've been a sugar loafer since 1984. I actually uh, came here as an intern out of Penn State back in 1982-83 and worked in the marketing department. Uh, fell in love with the area and I've been here ever since. Living here for 40 years just gives you a lot of local knowledge. Uh, I've raised my children here, watched Sugarloaf evolve over the years. Well, I've actually been selling real estate for Sugarloaf since 1984. Um, and that, that just gives you a wealth of, of experience. Um, and we know the people, we know the owners here. I mean, I've been here, being here 40 years, you get to know everybody. You know, I've helped hundreds of families find their, you know, find their piece of the loaf over the years. And uh, it's really equally satisfying finding somebody a, you know, $100,000 camp in the valley uh, or a trailside home, you know, that's, you know, a million dollars. It's the excitement a family gets when finally getting, getting here. And, you know, it's a lifelong dream and you're helping them, helping them realize that dream. We're on Main Street in the village, open seven days a week, uh, 830 to 5, come see us. Backco Financial is an independent wealth management firm here in Falmouth. We pride ourselves on building trustworthy, long-term relationships so that we can be the first call our clients make when they have questions about investments, finance, and life changes. Our team has a variety of expertise and professional designations that allow us to provide holistic financial planning and tailored asset management. Backco Financial. Honest. Independent. Experienced. All right, we are back, and now, see, this is an effect that Andy's done. Look, it's in color now. Huh? Look at that beautiful shot of the village. And uh, we hope Nancy and the family are enjoying their leftover turkey tonight. And Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad cam shot. Sandy Bell is here, and we're not talking turkey. We're talking food and beverage. We're talking food and beverage. Yeah, uh, although turkey, they did have turkey last night. They did. It was awesome. Sold out. Sold out? They were Busy, full, huh? and they were even taking people um, without, you know, just walking in, so it was great. Yeah. And we have, we have three specials tonight. 
uh, Arsini uh, special for an app, and then we have a turkey sandwich on ciabatta with LTO, very good, and then 12 ounce ribeye. Ooh, mm, that with sounds the good. Red demi glace. Yeah. With do you know what sunset mashed potatoes are? I'm gonna. <laughs> with cheese? <laughs> it's sweet potato and Yukon gold. Oh, that mashed sounds together. great. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Huh. Really good. Yeah. So, yeah, we're serving that up tonight. That sounds delicious. How yeah. about wine? You got wine at 45 North? Got a good we selection? have a, a great selection of wine, and we're also, we just did a bunch of wine tastings. That's kind of funny when you see F&B leaving 45 North. <laughs> <laughs> Stop part but, of the um, you know, we, we sit down with wine wraps, and we go over all the different properties yeah. and varieties and decide what on the list, and, you, you know, we try and do it by regions, and yeah. So we got some great wine over I'd there. I'd like to video that meeting. That would be I fun. bet you would. Yeah. Well, we're doing, How long's it last? We're doing whiskey <laughs> on Wednesday, so you might want to be around for the no. Wiggly Bridges coming up. Wow, that sounds wonderful. Because we're talking about uh, whiskey flights. So. Whiskey flights. What, tell them what a flight is for those. Flight people. is, uh, you know, you get three um, two-ounce, uh, three two-ounce pours, yeah. Three small pours, half ounce. Yeah. And you can try different types of whiskey, or we're going to do tequila because a lot of people... You know, they like mezcal, but they're already always having a rep reposada, so it gives them a chance to try something different. And the same with wine. We're going to do the same thing with wine. Oh. So it'll be fun. That sounds fun. Yeah. Just some of the many things as we get into the season here. That's right. What have you, what have you uh, left to, to share with us? Uh, the one thing I will say mm -hmm. is about Bullwinkles, and everyone, a lot of people know I was there it's for years. It's open on the 9th, by the way. Yes, I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to let you know I listened. It is opening on the 9th. Yeah. Um, we've made some changes up there. Both the warming hut and the outside bathrooms are gone. The garage bar will still be there and the lounge bar and the main bar. The front room is now going to not be restaurant. It's going to be you can come in and warm up or you can go and get food from the lounge bar, sort of a takeout style like mm -hmm. the way we did at the garage bar. And so it's a more casual, which you can't bring in your own food or drink. But you can just come in and sit and warm up. Warm up. Yeah. Well, with the advent of the lift going in, um, people, you know, would get out from the parking lot, take the lift. They needed a place to sort of regroup. Right. So Carl asked if we could do that and it made sense. So we did. Well, exciting things are happening around here. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. But the, the two thirds of it is still a uh, restaurant. Yeah. Um, I would get up there early. It's going to be busy. Yeah, it's going to be busy. There yeah. it is. Look at that. What, what are we looking at here? Oh, it looks like a burger. Fries. Yep. We have curly fries up yeah. there. At Bo Winkles. We'll yep. look forward to that. Thanks, and, Andy. And remember, all these restaurants, right, you get to uh, acquire Boyne Rewards points. You do. Or maybe you want to spend them. We, well, I just need to remind people, people don't always realize you've got to redeem them first. Mm -hmm. And now they do it electronically, so they have the QR code. So we can redeem that on your phone. Oh, cool. Yeah, just make sure you read. Because a lot of times if we get the paper or just the sheet that says how many points they have, mm. you have to redeem them first, then we can use them. Oh, I've always wanted to redeem myself. Well, there it is. Right? Great shots there. Yeah, there's bullies. Well, I know. Uh, oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's a celery that holds your eye open when you drink it. Well, you know, we like, yep, see, this is all a lot of last year's stuff. That's a lot of good looking food. We make right our here. own uh, Bloody Berry mix. You do? Oh, yeah. That Made is from not. from scratch. It is. Every bit of it. The garage bar is going to be open again, right? Garage bar is going to be open. The lounge bar. There'll be less seating in the lounge bar, more standing. Yeah. So you can get in and, and but you can go in there and get a drink and sit in the front room and yeah. have a drink there or coffee. I got one last question for you. Yeah. Is the flag up yet? It is. I it put is? it up at the end of the season. Oh, okay. It's an interesting thing. Yeah. And people <laughs> would come in and see the flag. Yeah, it's right there. You walk in that front room and it's right up over the opening. The infamous flag that disappeared, traveled the country and made it back. And just now. Hanging at bullies again. Yeah, we'll see you up there. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, thank Sandy you. Bell. It was awesome. We'll be talking to you soon because there's always lots of things happening in food and beverage. And we'll let you go to work. And, uh, well, we're busy over there. Well, be busy. Enjoy. We're going to take a break. We'll come right back in just a moment. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com.
tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Time to check a check of your latest local forecast and some trail conditions as well as some info to know before you go. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com. And this forecast brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Partly mostly sunny skies for the day on Saturday. Looks like a great weekend ahead. Colder temperatures, we'll, we'll still see a bit of a breeze uh, around the hill. 12 to 16 at the summit, 24 to 28 at the base with partly to mostly sunny skies. So get out there and enjoy it. We'll see things start to warm up on Sunday, 24 to 28 for your summer temperatures, 35 to 39 for your base temperatures. A southwest breeze shouldn't hardly be, no be noticeable out there, so that'll be great. And partly sunny skies, which we'll see some increasing clouds uh, throughout the afternoon, where we'll see a rain-snow event on Monday with a high of 38, a low of 30. Then it cools back down with partly sunny skies on Tuesday and Wednesday, where you'll see temperatures dropping and those snowmakers will be able to get back out there doing what they do, especially down around the base area. Saturday, November 25th, Birchwood Interior is bringing you a trail port. 11 trails to ski and ride on two lifts, getting you there. 10 trails or 11 trails on the groomers list. Machine groom, frozen sand, granular surface out there. So get out there early for that best corduroy. Snowmaking on upper narrow gauge down to PV, as well as Competition Hill and the PV Trail, Spillway, Boardwalk, and the Landing. And they'll groom everything that is open, including Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, Candyside, Bridal Chain, and the Timberline Trail. Mountain bike trail conditions. Things are closed out there as we wait for some more snow and things to freeze up a bit. Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center, if you're looking for a great bite to eat at the cafe or want to relax or get a workout in, that's the place to go. If you're looking for breakfast or lunch, maybe some Carabasset coffee, be sure to check out Delis right in Village West. And the Shipyard Brew House is open for the season Wednesday through Sunday. Breakfast starts at 7 a.m. The Rack Barbecue, they are open as well all weekend long. Be sure to check them out for some great barbecue. And the Trails and Steakhouse and Tavern right up in Eustis Village. They've usually got music on Saturdays as well as their great steaks. And we've got Watch and Win shows Friday night starting at 5.30. We'll have one Saturday morning, Saturday night once again, and wrap things up for the weekend on Sunday morning. Be sure to check out our live quad cam streaming at our website 24-7 so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. Also check us out on social media. We've got two YouTube channels, one that streams that quad cam, one with the latest local content. And at WSKITV.com, you can now stream all of our local content. Uh, go to the live streaming button. Enjoy it, folks. Hello, I'm Earl Morris, owner of Birchwood Interiors. For 31 years, we've been providing you, our fellow sugar loafers, with furniture, flooring, mattresses, and window treatments. But what many sugar loafers don't realize is the amount of construction and new renovation work that we do. From fireplaces to kitchens to bathrooms and steam showers, we do anything inside the walls of a house. We love what we do and hope you'll shop locally with us. We are back and it is Thanksgiving weekend and got lots of people here and going to enjoy some great skiing tomorrow. This live quad cam shot available on our website, WSKITV.com. And it's brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We are now on Spectrum uh, Cable app. We are now on the app. How do you get to the app, you say, Greg? Well, here's how it works. If you have a smart TV or a Roku, you go to those little tiles, you know, those little annoying ones you have to figure out how to get to, and it'll say Spectrum. And then if you are a Spectrum subscriber, which many people are up here, we encourage it, you just click on it, and it will come up. And although it says government access, we really don't work for the government. Uh, so it's just a tile, and you click on that, and uh, it'll take you right to WSKI, and you can watch online. Now, beyond that, Big things are happening here. We are now uh, streaming on our website. It's not 100% yet, but on our website we'll be streaming so you can watch when you're away. And also we have a YouTube, two YouTube stations, one for our live quad cam, and then we have one uh, with a still cam. And uh, those are on our website as well. So many different ways to watch. We hope that you will. And uh, let's give them some more information here. Uh, 
And we got more watching wind coming up too, Nancy. Don't worry. Hey, anti-gravity complex is open Sunday, seven till eight, Monday through Thursday, six to ten. And you can sign up for trampoline lessons. In fact, uh, Alex Lund's going to be on tomorrow talking about that. The public library open, and you can enjoy the book club and many other things. Sit in front of the fireplace, read magazines, or head on down to the cafe or the sport and fitness center. They are open for biz. The pool is warm. Main ski and snowboard museum open for biz right there on the access road. Celebrating Don. A Fowler's 75 million uh, uh, vertical, feet. vertical feet. That was a hard one. And uh, what is this, a joke? <laughs> Virtual interiors, 15% off any component of uh, Hunter Douglas furniture. And uh, the Sugarloaf Shop, your one stop shop for everything Sugarloafy. I had plenty of time to work that. Happy Tunes, your complete ski service. Ski Tune Wax, the max experience right there. Drop your skis off. I'm ready. Expert boost fitting. Buy appointment. Carabasa coffee. What's your favorite? I don't know, but uh, buy some for your friends, your holiday uh, gift. They'll send you mugs and ship it right out. Country Mutt. Pet supplies and grooming right there. You can find them on Facebook and on Main Street in Kingfield. Dog Knock Con. No Fly Designs and much more at the Maiden Main Shop. That's right there in downtown Kingfield, home of the 1901 flag. Jordan Lumber. Craft your dreams with us. Check out their great extensive line of all wood flooring. And... The Ski Depot, open 10 to 4, and they're on your way or on your way home in Jay, Maine. And balsam wreaths are available, limited time. Go cvareaths.com forward slash, that's how you get them. And the Spillover Motel, they're renovating their rooms up there. And, of course, they've got uh, a little um, bar area there, and they're friendly folks. Go check them out. If you're seeing the screen too small, press the aspect button and bang. All the guests gain 10 pounds, just like that. And Java Joe's right there on Main Street. Let the experts slice your bagel uh, right there. They're open daily, 7 until 5 p.m. Uh, and great coffee as well. Deli's is open. It's all about the bread. Uh, I try the Carabasset River, the Kennebec River. That is a delicious sandwich. And 45 North, they've got your power breakfast right there. Start the day off at 45 North. Located the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Open for the season, the Shipyard Brew House at the Sugarloaf Inn. And they are serving up lunch and dinner. And you can enjoy the Sugarloaf Institution, which is the bag. Get a bag burger open daily. And we are going to give away a Mas Amigos t-shirt. And uh, you can enjoy some great Mexican fare right there, 4 until 9 p.m. And at the Widowmaker, dine in or take out. Enjoy their new menu with 20 beers on tap. And at the Rack, they've got Wednesday open mic with Jason Mancini and Trivia with Chase, sponsored by Vocal. And uh, they have got bowling reservations suggested at the Sugar Bowl. They've got eight lanes, Taco Tuesday, Burger, Tuesday, uh, Burger Wednesday. They got something going on each and every day. So stop by soon. Looney Moose Cafe open with a great breakfast. Always something delicious and new. Flagstaff General Store. They are open their oasis for everything you need in Eustis. And at the White Wolf Inn, you can enjoy a fish fry on Fridays. That's right, $13.95. And enjoy lunch and dinner. They're located in Stratton. The Pines Market is open for biz. Of course, you can find uh, no one beats their meats. And the Trails End Steakhouse and Tavern. Steaks, burgers, seafood, spirits, famous prime rib Thursday and Saturday. Watch and win. Hey, we're in the middle of it right now. And someone's going to wear some uh, of these great mitts right here. The end of the weekend, if you are a winner of one of our uh, questions here. Um, and they're tough. I know uh, you could win these outdoor research uh, heated mitts. So we are going to uh, talk about the Iron Men, the Iron Men and Women. We'll explain it. We'll take a break right after this. Hi, we're here at Mountainside Grocers with, with Sarah and Mike. They, they got a new case in. Uh, and also, I just want to say, and Mike, he's a great singer over there. Oh, yes, he so, is. There's no extra charge uh, for the serenading? No, no, it happens all the time. Yeah, yeah ask Dyer. I was serenading her, uh, Van Morrison, the other day. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Yeah. You know, good taste. Yeah, whistle while you work, sing while you work. A family that sings together and stocks cheese together stays together. This is hummus. This is, this is jammy hummus. Tomato hummus, it's delicious, not cheese. Yeah. Although there's lots of cheese. Well, you got some beet hummus? 
Oh, beet hummus, sriracha hummus. We got lemon hummus. We got all kinds of hummus. A lot of hum hummus mm -hmm. among us we here. We even have veggie hummus in yep. the produce case. Now, what over? Uh, tell me about this over here, because this oh, is yeah. like uh, everything that you need to put together a nice uh, a charcuterie. Charcuterie. Yep. We even have. Charcuterie. If you're missing the essentials, the charcuterie essentials. It's a. Um, this is totally unrehearsed. This is totally unrehearsed. Yeah, if you couldn't that. tell. You pulled that charcuterie board right out. <laughs> it goes right there. Yeah. So that's its home. But you can buy it too. Yeah. Uh, no, we have some great cheese. I just got in some like five or six cheese cheeses from Maine. Mm -hmm. This one's Conan Acres Farms. We got Balfour Farms. Um, Pineland Farms, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but, oh, the Silvery Moon Creamery, which is the Laughing Cow. Um, Oh, sorry. Um, the giggling cow. Smiling Hill yeah. Farm. Smiling Hill in Westbrook, which yeah. is they make the they have the best milk. They do. Yeah. yeah. You have to bring your bottles back. I know, but it's like they're so yeah, cute. Like old the school. The chocolate milk is yeah. like. Um, so all kinds of Maine cheeses, if that's your thing, but also cheeses from around the world too. It's all right here, Mountainside mm -hmm. Grocers. You're you're all excited for Thanksgiving. You got you got any uh, young turkeys? I have some fresh turkeys. I have some frozen turkeys. Yeah. I was carrying the turkey like a baby. Uh, you were. Yeah. Well, it said young turkey on it. Yes. Yeah. That's the best kind. Do you have to order ahead? Um, no, I, I haven't done that. I probably, I have a limited supply yeah. for those who maybe come up here and find themselves without a turkey. I have some hams too. Mm -hmm. um, Always a good choice. Yeah. yeah. I'm, we're our, my family's a turkey family on Thanksgiving, yeah. um, but you know, <laughs> you can do whatever. Yeah. Some people like ham. So. Do you? Yeah, well, that's what we do. But and you can get it all here at Mountainside Grocers. Yes, you can. Yeah. And then uh, tell us when you're open. Uh, we're open seven days a week, yeah. 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, once the ski season really gets rolling, we'll be open till 10 on Friday and Saturdays. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Welcome to the Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum. Great location right here on the Access Road at Sugarloaf. Come on by. Our mission statement is to celebrate, preserve, and share the history and heritage of Maine skiing and snowboarding. And that's what we're trying to do. Check the website, mainskiandsnowboardmuseum.org for more information. The phone number is on there. You can call, set up a time if you want, or you can come down when, when we're open. Hope to see you soon. I'm from Skowhegan, Maine, and I'm a candidate patroller this year. Awesome. So as a candidate patroller, you're learning from some of the best here? Yes, I'm learning from Roddy. I've learned a ton about patient assessment and making your guests feel comfortable and safe, and I've learned a lot about skiing as well. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your season. Be safe. Live the dream. You are living the dream, aren't you? Of course.
All right, we are back, and look at that. All the snowmobiles all lined up there. What, are they having a sale? I don't know. That's our live quad cam on our website, WSKITV.com, and Mountainside Real Estate bringing you this live quad cam shot as they do, and they're open. You know, you feel like buying a house, boom, you can just stop by. They're open almost every day. Not at night, though. Now, we have uh, three people joining us here who all share the same official title, but is it really correct? Iron Man. <laughs> well, if you ask Bear, she would tell you that it is correct. It is. Because we're as strong as the men. Well, uh, we have uh, Chris Prudente and, and then Fran. Stanhope. Stanhope and Richard. Hawks. Hawks. And uh, all three of you, well, you have a pin, but it, it, you didn't wear it tonight. And just, just for uh, clarity, I, we, we didn't talk to each other before the show, right? <laughs> no, we did not. I watched you come in, and I said, he's wearing the same damn sweater I am. Which, no, you're wearing the same sweater I am. I could see how you would see it that way. And, uh, but anyway, it's a great sweater, and you're rocking, uh, rocking the, the logo right there. Because you're an Iron Man. Let's talk about the Iron Man competition. First off, the history of it. It's all because of uh, Paul Shippard. Um, he's the original Iron Man. Um, he skied here at Sugarloaf for 24 consecutive years. It's a great story. It's an unbelievable story, what he had to do and the challenges and everything. He even postponed a surgery to remove a cancerous <laughs> kidney so he could ski. Wow. 3,903 consecutive days. Now, if you ask Captain Kip, he'll tell you, every day is just glorious. First thing in the morning like that. <laughs> well, We're laughing because it's not. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe not every day, uh, but better than, you know, being in other places. But so th this, is a, this is a huge record. Uh, and let's talk about, he was 85 years old. He died 2009, and uh, he's legendary around here. And so that all started there, and that was when people started picking up, saying, I'm going to do the same thing? Yeah, um, I'm still learning the history, but the Sugarloaf Ski Club yeah. um, came into the picture, and in 1999 is when they actually awarded the very first mm -hmm. Paul Shipper Iron Man Award. And the Ski Club local organization supports a lot of the races and a lot of things around here, and you can join too. It's really cheap. You should. And then I just want to let you know, uh, so Fran, give us some of the stats. What, yep, how, many, how many iron persons are there? There's 29. Yeah. Um, five have passed away. Um, three no longer ski. Five of us are women. Um, the first woman was J.J. Clements in uh, 2003. Mm -hmm. The oldest person was Ed Hendrickson. He was 93, and wow. the year that he won, he, his goal was to ski as many days as he was old. Wow. Um, and he was, a, he was a really sweet man. Um, there's one if he was gonna, if, if he said so, 120, you think he would have lived to be that long? I he's still alive know. at 103. I was going to say, I think that he's, goal still alive. he's still alive yeah, at 103. Alive, yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. I, I don't know if he still skis. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I believe he was skied regularly at, um, which is it, uh, Herman Mountain. Yep. yep. It was a Fantastic. Herman Mountain, because he lived in that area. Yeah. So um, there's one unofficial uh, Iron Man who was a snowboarder. He was an employee, so he didn't, you know, he wasn't eligible to win the actual award. Um, and then last year's winners were... Um, Peter Hawkmeyer and um, Jeff Shipper, who was uh, Paul's son. Wow. So That's great. Yeah. So no snowboarders can get the Iron Man Award? Well, they can. Employees can't, are not eligible for okay. it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Great. So, uh, Richard, talk about qualifications. What do, what do we need to do? You need to have a passion for skiing. First. <laughs> yes, you do. It's, it's, it's not going through an RFID gate. You got to go through the passion gate first. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Because, <laughs> like you say, not every day is 35 or 40 degrees and sunny. 
There's some. That was a good line. There's some crazy days out there that you have to get out and take a run or several runs. Yeah. And that's you got to love to ski. So and, and you want to be there early when you get the best runs, right? Um, I'm gonna say that's generally true. But when you you're on a powder day or whatever, and you want to ski in deeper snow or whatever, you you can take a bell lap run at the end of the day and have an awesome day of skiing. Yes, you can. Yes, you, can. <laughs> you know, the, before, that, there was a time when there was no grooming. Imagine right. that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness there is. So uh, are there some people that are actually trying to achieve this right now that you know of? Not that we know of yet, but um, we ask around, we talk. We talk to the lifties, we talk to ski patrol. Um, we talk to the, all the guests mm -hmm. who they see, and yeah. we keep our eyes open. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, of course, the lifties would know. I mean, they, mm -hmm. there's no there's no sneaking around them. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not climbing, earning your turns. You're taking the lift, and uh, you get a pin like that if you if you win. Absolutely. Yeah, if you get there. <laughs> yeah. And you guys are among uh, some a pretty elite team, don't you think? Huh? Well. Yeah, we've kind of organized ourselves and do the charity summit and yeah. put quite a bit of money for help help with that. Yeah. And the vertical challenge we've done the last few years as a group and I don't know, I last year I skied almost fifty thousand vertical feet that day. Wow. And now you can keep track of it with apps and stuff, so All right. yeah. That's great. Is, is that how you guys do it? Most of us do. Yeah. 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 So. Well, well, how much money do you raise? I'm not sure. Just, I don't know what I'm not raise sure. Uh, that's an admin question. <laughs> Thirty-seven. It worked for the Apple. Right. There we go. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's right. There's a there's a happy group right there. We are. We're a very hardcore group. We are very um, connected with each other. We support each other. Can we see that picture again? Indy, that guy yep. in the end, I think I seen him in Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's him. I'll be darned. Well, uh, of course, the, the Ski Club, a great organization, uh, too. And if they're supporting it, that, that helps so much. And th they do so much with the community as well. And uh, we're happy to have you here. And it's Watch and Win. So I thought we'd uh, ask a trivia question here. What do you think? Absolutely. You, yes. I, you, didn't you have one? You had one. Didn't I have one? You, didn't you tell me you had one? I did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, first I'll tell them what they can win. Uh, well, of course, they'll qualify for these. Those are nice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, I always thought it would be fun because you can use Bluetooth. You can hack into someone's gloves and turn them up and down. <laughs> we'll give away a, we're going to give away a backpack and a mask. Amigos. Mas amigos. Hey, it, it, it's kind of like this. Hey, mas amigos. Mm -hmm. We're going to give that away. And uh, what else can I... Oh, how about one of these SKI hats? There we go. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll make sure you guys yeah. get one of these, too. I should have put mine on. Yeah, well, we'll get you one. <laughs> and, and that's some... Okay, tease. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come right back, and we're going to give something away. Stay tuned. We're at the Spillover Motel, and we're uh, having a chat with Mike. He's the manager here. Mike, how are you? I'm good, so? I'm living the dream, and uh, I see you're doing some work. Got some renovations going on in the rooms? Yeah, we got um, eight out of the 20 rooms done so far. Fantastic. Yeah, we put new floors in, new paint, new everything, pretty much, except for the bathrooms. But, um, yeah. Freshening it up, uh, getting ready for a big season, of course, uh, Thanksgiving coming up. And there is a big um, uh, 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 celebration that you guys do, and uh, it raises money. And you could tell us a little bit about that. I think it's a fantastic community event. So we have a local family. One gets picked every year um, that we raise money for. We have a Festival of Trees, it's called. Um, we get vendors to donate um, their time and trees to uh, kind of raffle off each tree. So you just come in, you can purchase tickets here, or you can purchase tickets there on the day of, but you can pre-purchase them here. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it takes place at the inn, which is uh, your facility as well, yes. right? Yes, yeah. that's on the corner of 16 and 27. Mm -hmm. um, it's on the 1st, and all proceeds go to that family. It's an 18-month-old with uh, liver cancer. Fantastic event, and there'll be some vendors there. And uh, yeah, we got 15 trees so far. Yeah, we got 15 trees. Yeah, so it should be a pretty good event. Now, what wh what do I what do you know about the grazing table? Um, this year we're going to be doing a grazing table, which I think is kind of similar to a buffet. Never like, done one before. Yeah, kind of like a charcuterie board, but yeah. I, I love the name. <laughs> yeah, it's it's different. Yeah. It's different. <laughs> It'll be a, it'll be a great addition, and if people want to make reservations here, how do they get a hold of you, Mike? Um, well, you can go online, booking.com. You can call us here, um, or you can go on our own website. So. And that website is. Um, Mainspillover.com. There you go. Hey, Mike, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, guys. Located in Village West, the Sugarloafer Shop supports the iconic Sugarloaf Triangle that is one of the most recognizable logos in the world. Founded on the traditional logo t-shirt and now offering everything from high-end fashion items, home decor and logo hats, to bathing suits, children's clothes, Under Armour product lines and original artwork and photography by local artists, the Sugar Loafer Shop is your one stop for everything logo wear. Stop in and grab some loaf gear today. All right, we are back and Mountainside Real Estate bringing you this live quad cam shot available on our website, WSKITV.com. It's Watch and Win and uh, we have got Chris and Fran and Richard with us and we are about to give away a Masamigo shirt and this WSKI bag and a WSKI hat. And you'll qualify for these mitts. Whew, I got that all in. All right, I got my sound effects uh, generator ready. You have a question? Hopefully I can word it properly. United oh, don't worry, they'll correct you. Oh, I <laughs> United States. Which state is the most eastern time zone? Which state is the most eastern time zone? Two, three, seven, six, eight, nine, five is the number. And we're going to open up the phone line right now and let the games begin. Let's see. Hi. Who do we have on the phone? Uh, this is Brett. Brett, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great tonight. And uh, I, have you ever thought about being an Iron Man? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. One other question before I ask you the answer to this one. Do you have, any, do you have a sweater like this? Oh, it's a beautiful sweater. No, yeah? I don't. Uh, I don't. I, uh, I would have worn it if I did. It should have made a threesome there, so. <laughs> you are a good man. All right. So uh, do you know the answer to the trivia question for this fabulous prize package and a chance to win uh, these lucent heated sensor mitts? I, I feel like I'm getting it wrong, but I, think, I, I feel like it's Massachusetts. Sorry. Which one? Which button? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we... Uh, but thank you very much for calling. Uh, that was incorrect. Wow, you caught right on to that. You were pretty yeah. good at this. Uh, there's a cheer right there. Yeah. Okay. Hi, who do we have on the phone? That's a delay. Are you with us? Hi, it's Lisa. Uh, Lisa! Uh, you must be calling from Hawaii or something. <laughs> Okay, do you know the answer to this question for our fabulous prize package? Well, I think, well, I think it has to be Maine. Oh, I'm sorry, but thank you very much for calling. 
Hi, who do we have on the phone? Hey, this is Scott. Scott, what is the answer to our trivia question? Do you know? New York. <laughs> you didn't have to ring it. We could tell by your face. Uh, but thank you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, hi, who's on the phone? Trapper. Trapper, what's the answer to our question tonight? Florida. I'm sorry, it is not Florida. Two three seven six eight nine five. I guess you got the number. Hi, who's this? Is it Maeve? No. Two three seven six eight nine five. He was so excited too. Hi, who's on the phone? Hi. Hi. Um, is it? Is it what? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> is it what? Is it Alaska? We've got a winner! Congratulations! You're in the running. You get the prize oh. package and you're in for the mitts as well. Stay on the line because uh, we've got some more information uh, to get from you. And we'll be right back with more Watch and Win. Stay with us. one-stop shop for all your alpine needs. Downhill Supply Company carries goods and gear from the ski industry's top manufacturers and offers the latest in ski tuning technology. Let our friendly and knowledgeable staff get you geared up for any mountain adventure. Located in the heart of the Sugarloaf Village and open daily. We're here at Deli's today, and we didn't come just to bother you. We came because we need to order some food today. Well, you came to the right place. <laughs> I came to the right place. And then I look and I go, so look at all those choices. Yeah, we have a pretty good-sized menu, and we're adding to it all the time. The so, one, the sandwich that you ordered, the On the Kennebec, that's new. That's new? Yep. I'm on the Kennebec, that's one, that's one right here, caramelized. The caramelized onions caught my eye. Yep, yeah. uh, we sell quite a few of them actually. Yeah. yeah. Now, who comes up with these creations? We do. Yeah. Yeah. Siobhan came up with that one. Um, the Carl special was my idea. Yeah. Yeah. And so. it's named after Carl. Carl Strand, yeah. 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 It, it's his favorite? I don't know if it's his favorite, but he came in one day and asked me to make him something special. So, yeah. uh, so I came in and made him. I said, How much flavor do you want? He said, A lot. And you said, well, you are already special before, Carl, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good, a good idea. You know, you've got something different to try here. I love the Reuben. The Reubens were very good. Yeah, we make really good Reubens. Yeah. So. Now, uh, you have salads as well. Anything um, that you'd like to highlight out of this menu? What, like, you know, whatever you invented? Well, like I said, I did the Carl's special. We came up with the cranberry peak salad a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, we just started doing the carabasset cob salad. Yeah. We've been selling a lot of those. So um, the Greek and the toss we've had since I've been here. So. Is it true that uh, you go up and and climb Cranberry Peak to get the cranberries for it? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now what do you have for dessert over here? For dessert we've got um, these are fairly new. They're blueberry lemon almond bars. Mm. We've got magic bars here, raspberry bars, carrot cake, mud cake, brownies, Congo bars. And Marissa just made these. They're a gluten-free almond blondie cookie bar. Ooh. So 
watching out for the gluten-free people. Yeah, we're trying to come up with different gluten-free options. Yeah. Well, a healthy and uh, expansive menu here at Deli's. When are you open? We are open Sunday through Friday, 8 to 3, and Saturdays 8 to 4. Come check it out. It's all about the bread and the great people. Thank you. It is a Mountain Report, Watch and Win edition, the rich, bulging pageantry. We call Watch and Win, and we give lots of things away, um, and we've got more to give away, too. But um, we're talking with Chris and Fran and Richard about the Ironman. Uh, it, it, I guess it's a challenge more than a competition, isn't it? Would you say? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, you're kind of like the, like the uh, commissioner on this, right? I mean, you're an overseer, kind of. <laughs> I kind of took um, organize, organizational control, oh, let's yeah. say. Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Tell me why you got involved and uh, uh, share a little bit about why, why did you do it in the first place? Well, originally I wanted to prove that somebody that wasn't in the circle or on the committee, who I didn't even know who they were, could actually win it. Yeah. Um, I am not a first chair person. I'm more of a crack and nooner. Um, I <laughs> like to get out there when the crowd's gone. And uh, so, you know, it was, I don't know most of those people because mm -hmm. most of, I think most of the Iron Man are, are you know, early birds. Um, so I just, you know, went after it in that way, trying to, you know, just see if somebody outside could actually win it. And I really had to make sure people knew that I was going for it. You know, the lifties and the, um, anybody that did see me out there. You had to break through the crust. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Which is yeah. not my forte. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, there were a lot of days that I was out there than I would have rather have not been out there. And I remember the day that I won, um, and I said to David Prue, now I don't have to ski in the freezing rain anymore. <laughs> and then the next time Dave saw me on the, uh, out skiing, I was skiing in the freezing rain. <laughs> so. That was way back when. When did it freezing rain? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the year, the year I won was 2010-11. Yeah, that was the year um, of the freezing rain. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, yeah, the year. Uh, and I was 50 at that time. And I think, and Chris and I were discussing, might be the youngest person to have won it. Interesting. And uh, you were mentioning how you're kind of an ambassador, huh? Yeah, skiing, I, think, I think Iron Man, you... You ski, you know, everybody skis over 100 days a season. You take a lot of chairlift rides. You meet a lot of people. <laughs> and yeah. it is very satisfying, I think it is to me, and I'm sure everybody, yeah. to ride up with people that their first time at Sugarloaf, or they ask you where you're skiing. You know, I had a guy, when I did it, when, the year I did it, a guy from outside of Philly, rode up with me and he wanted to know where I was skiing and what I was doing and he skied with me for three runs and he was only going to be there one day and I saw him the next day and I, in line and I talked to him I said why are you here he's like skiing so good oh you that's know, he great stayed for, he stayed at two extra days because it's Sugarloaf oh, so nice. being yeah. an ambassador is a big thing he yeah. caught the fever got the fever and I think all of us <laughs> Yeah, right. we all have the Good fever. Ambassadors. We all have the Come fever. On. We're all ambassadors. Yeah. yeah. Right. And the enthusiastic. Gotta love it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I, maybe we've inspired some people. Maybe, Kamish, there's going to be some more <laughs> that want to sign up for yeah. this program right here. We welcome it. Yeah. How Absolutely. do they get a holy if they want to? They'll see us all over this mountain. <laughs> <laughs> They'll see us. Or sign up for a tennis lesson. Or pickleball. Oh, pickleball. Or pickleball. Oh, yeah. Or quickleball. Mm. Quick, tell us about quickleball. <laughs> <laughs> quickleball is a combination of pickleball on a racket ball court. Yeah. I hear it's the rage here. Well, Keith Harridge and I, we're trying to make it the rage. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, we do have a set of official rules. Uh -huh. 
They're posted down at the health club. Yeah. Um, Annie's been fantastic. She ordered nets. They fit perfect. We got paddles. We have balls. Um, and if they want to, they can leave their name with Annie. And Keith and I, a couple of us, will come in and we'll teach it. Yeah. So it's just a variation on the game. But what a great place to play it right down there at the health club, huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what's it called again? Quickle ball. <laughs> Quickle ball. Well, this could catch on, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, this could be a big... We hope so. Yeah, there'll be leagues. Yeah. Do you go in there and, and kind of intimidate them? I hate to brag, but I'm an Iron Man. No. No? <laughs> no. You don't do that? No. Yeah. No. no. Because um, we all love Sugarloaf. Yeah. That's why we're here. The passion for skiing or riding, yeah. the outdoors. Yep. Yeah. We've covered a lot of topics here. Quickle ball and skiing. What if people want to play quickle ball? How do they do that? Where, where do they go? How do well, they join a team? Right now we're using an app called Spond, S P O N D dot com. And you just have to log on. Spond. Yeah. Huh. Um, you just got to find a group. Mm -hmm. And the group is called Bobcat Ballers. The Bobcat Ballers. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll get invited in and we'll post when we're playing or when we're going to do some training. Mm -hmm. And you got to come up with a good name. Each team? Yes. Yeah. You're the Bobcat Ballers. Yes. Oh, well, best of luck to the Ballers. And uh, uh, you can find out more information. You can always go down to Health Club and find out more. Cause, Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. That sounds like fun. You know, you guys have been a cornucopia of information here. We've learned so much. And maybe inspired some people to become Iron Man. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Guys, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Enjoy it. Um, wait, wait. And uh, I'm going to get you some SKI hats, too. So uh, stay with us. We're going to be right back in just a moment. Hey, I'm Michelle DeFrosia. I've been the business manager here at Birchwood Interiors for over a decade. I'm part of a team that I'm very proud of. Our company's goal to treat every customer who walks through the door as our best friend isn't just a slogan. Our clients really do become our friends. The trust that our clients put in us is refreshing in today's world. All of us at Birchwood Interiors seek every day to work with integrity and professionalism that will continue to earn that trust. We're in Village West. So come on in, pull up a sofa, and see what we can do for you. We're here at the Sport and Fitness Center with any tool and She's getting tooled up uh, for Thanksgiving, aren't you? I sure am. I'm all ready for it. Sorry, I couldn't resist that. But you, one exciting thing that people probably don't know is that the incredibly popular sport, pickleball, has come to the Sport and Fitness Center. Yeah, so this year we decided to purchase a portable net and some rackets. It's not uh, you know, a legit pickleball court. You know, we're just trying to give it a place for people to come and, and, you know, play. They've developed a new game called Quickleball. Mm -hmm. So it uses the walls. There's some uh, different instructions or different rules. But, um, yeah, it seems to be a great place to do it and an opportunity to get some courts rented. And it seems like this is like a new version of it. This could this could go worldwide. Could go viral. <laughs> like, could go cray cray. Well, it is very. Uh, you know, it's a good use of the of the space, right? Yeah, the uh, racquetball of the '90s isn't as as popular as it once was. Yeah. So we're trying to evolve. Tell me about Peloton. So that's another thing that we have here at the fitness center in the workout room. We have two Peloton bikes now. Um, we have a, you can do your own login. You can do a, a general login. We give you some headset headphones if you don't have your own. Uh, yes, yeah, quite popular as well. Complimentary. That's right. So do you need to reserve those? You do not. It's first come, first serve. You pay a day pass fee, which will be $15 for you to come and use the facility for the day. Mm -hmm. You can come and go throughout the day this year. And um, so just use a bike or a treadmill or, you know, any of the equipment in the fitness room. That comes with a pool access, the two indoor tubs, hot tubs, sauna, and steam room in each locker room. So for $15, you can spend the day and have access. Can you show us the hot tubs? I can. <laughs> yeah. Do we need a pass or anything? Yeah, no, no. you don't. <laughs> 
Yeah, and and they're outside. We have two outside hot tubs, and we are renting those separately per, by the hour. Uh, they're brand new tubs. They are hold up to six people. Uh, it's going to be $120 per hour, which is only $5 more than your $15 activity yeah. fee. And they look uh, they look very inviting. Yeah, they're real jetty. It's going to be a nice atmosphere out there, <laughs> and yeah. Uh, is there any special hours? Uh, with the holidays, uh, we wouldn't you be open any different hours? Or? So right now we're open 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week. Um, starting uh, Thanksgiving weekend, we'll be open till 9 p.m. on Friday and Saturday nights. Lots of things happening down here at the Sport and Fitness Center. You got to come down and check it out, and you get Boyne Rewards. Yeah, Boyne Rewards. You know, you get a cafe, a little atmosphere for a little bit for everyone. Um, we're also going to be offering some ping pong tables that we roll right into the racquetball court. So you rent a court, play a little ping pong. You there know. you go. New things here at the Sport and Fitness Center, and of course all the other, other. Um, exercise amenities that you know and love yeah we have a little bit of everything for everyone yeah. um, kids of all ages come down and check us out thank you so much thanks hi i'm paul shipper sugarloaf since 1963 and when i'm not skiing here i'm listening to wski come on up and see us well i understand uh that you're going to have a new menu yeah, so we've upgraded our menu a little bit. You know, we're all going to have the same old standbys of the pizza and quesadillas and nachos. We're taking those to another level and then adding some healthy options of more salad bowls and different uh, paninis and uh, a little something for everyone. Well, the ever-changing um, improvements here, right? Yeah, just, you know, we're always trying to grow and change and make things better around here. Well, there you go. You'll have something. You'll have something new to try. And if you haven't been down here at the cafe, you're missing out. Yeah, you know, you got to try our pizza. It's you know, it's, it's well represented or well. Locals, it's legendary. Legendary. That's what we are down here. A lot of legends down here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> With uh, all the legends. All right, we are back. It is the Mountain Report, and it is Watch and Win edition, and we will have Watch and Win uh, tomorrow morning and Saturday night, and then Sunday morning, I'm going to draw off the Outdoor Research Heated Mitts, which you could win if you win one of the prizes here this weekend. Um, and hopefully Nancy and her family are through eating now um, so that they're tuned in and we have more watch and win right now so this one here is going to this is going to be good well i shouldn't say that but well well to be announced we're going to give away this backpack right here um, the wski backpack and we're going to give away a heli hansen a neck warmer because you want to keep your neck warm and a wski hat we're going to put right in this bag and we're going to give this to uh, someone. This is a question, um, a pictorial question. And I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a context here. Uh, these are winter celebrations. We're going to show you some pictures of winter celebrations. And the answer, what we're looking for is, is what country uh, uh, these uh, traditional uh, events happen. So let me read this. Uh, this is part of a midwinter festival, then we're going to show you the picture, that dates back centuries. It takes place the fourth month of the pagan calendar, mid-January through mid-February. And it's based around a sacrificial ritual meant to keep things on earth favorable, uh, or old, wind, old man winter uh, is uh, celebrated. And... Uh, we're going to show you this dish, and all I want to know is uh, this festival, what country does it come from? Wait, we haven't showed the picture yet. We're going to, we're going to show the picture. Here it is. That's a picture right there. Um, oh, my gosh. Huh? Well, 
S so this is the part of the midwinter festival right here. And uh, it's a delicious complement of a lot of different things. I don't know exactly what it is, but um, hi, who do we have on the phone? Hey, it's Steve. Steve, how you doing? I'm doing well. I, you know, I, I'm feeling a little, little nervous here, not entirely sure I can tell you what country it is, but we're going to try. Okay, yeah, it's, it, I, I'm not sure what, even what's on that plate, but I, I mean, one of them is, uh, one of them no, is, I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough looking picture, but I'm going to go. What country? Iceland. Yes, he got it. It's Iceland. It's part of the Midwinter Festival, the, the Poroblot Festival. Uh, and and it, it's, uh, it's gone on for many, a long time. And, uh, well, I have to check it out. I and, mean, I, I, Iceland's supposed to be a cool place with the hot springs and all. Well, I'm going to tell you. Time the trip for the uh, yeah, yeah, Midwinter the, Festival. The, the fermented Greenland shark will, will put hair on your chest. Yeah, well, you know. Unless you Well, <laughs> well, stay on the line, Steve, because you got it right. I am just impressed. I thought we'd be on the phone forever. I thought that would last for an hour, but don't worry. Wait, folks, we have more. But you have a prize package. You're in for the Outdoor Research Mints. So stay on the line, Steve. we get some information from you. We'll be right back with another big question here on Watch and Win. See Sugarloaf through the eyes of a child at the brand new Amos and Friends store. Offering sweets, treats, toys, apparel, and more for the littlest loafers. Now open daily on Main Street in the Sugarloaf Village. Here in Kingfield at the legendary made in main store with the legendary julie swain how are you i'm good how are you today greg i'm living the dream and you know i haven't been in a, in a little while look you got a lot of new stuff we do we are ready for christmas yeah oh yeah oh yeah now you got everything here pretty much is made in maine except for the things out back you're selling some uh, ski wear Oh, yes. We have a secondhand ski wear section. Mm. It's all items donated by sugar loafers and people to the area. And then all the money goes to the ski club for the Boom Auger program. Yeah. So if you need to pick something up, maybe you forgot your, your whatever, your yeah. jacket, pants. Uh, can yeah. you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, actually, I can. <laughs> and we're very rich in ski pants right yeah. now. So yeah. if anyone needs a pair, please come down. Yeah. And if you want to bring some product down, that's great, too. Now, uh, of course, diverse products, jewelry, wood products, um, tell us more. Uh, we have pottery, a couple different artisans giving us pottery. We have these cool Christmas trees made out of local wood by a uh, craftsman in the area. We have ornaments, we have lotion, we have, what else, bags, mm. 1901 main flag products, of course. Some new hats I noticed over there. Yep, some new hats. Um, that Flynn artist, the PBR hats, we have those. <laughs> that's a big hit around The raccoon here. drinking the PBR. Yeah, yep, mm -hmm. yep that's mm -hmm. awesome. So um, if you're going to shop, why not support local artisans as well? Because there's pretty much everything here, isn't there? Yeah, there really is. Yeah. Oh, and you know, we're actually, I haven't finished it yet, but we're doing a promotion. It's called Santa for Seniors. And we're going to have um, bags, gift bags, if people want to buy those, or if they just want to donate to this program, we're going to put together gift baskets for local seniors oh. to go with Meals on Wheels and then maybe with the Economic Ministry. Nice. Just we like to do something every year to give back to the area, and we thought that was like a cool thing. That's great. Tell us when you're open, because people need to come down here and do some shopping. Well, our hours right now are Thursday through Monday, 11 to 4. Mm -hmm. On Sundays, we're open 11 to 3. But then after Thanksgiving, I think we're going to be open almost every day. I might keep Tuesdays. I need one day. <laughs> <laughs> one day off. But we're going to be, I'll probably still be here, but... Definitely will be open six days a week, Wednesday through Monday. 
and then we'll be open seven days a week, the week before Christmas and the week after Christmas, because all those sugar loafers are up. And, right. you know, if there's a little wind, they can come down here and go shopping. Now, what about people uh, up in the Rangeley area? Well, we do have our Rangeley shop over there. That's going to be open weekends um, through Christmas, and then Christmas week will be open more hours. Mm -hmm. It's not open right now. There's a little construction being done on the building, mm -hmm. but we will hopefully be open next weekend. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Well, don't let that stop you. Stop by here and check out some of these great new items right here at the Maiden Main Shop. Julie, this is some good stuff right here. Do you do gift wrapping? We don't, but I have these great Amazon gift bags. Oh. I have like two big bags full, yeah. and that's what I'm going to be giving away to people so that way they can wrap it up, buy a card here made by some local artisan mm -hmm. to go with it, and you can just bring it for your hostess gift or a last-minute Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. And then the money, then I'll, I'll sell them for like a dollar or whatever. That's going to go towards the Santa for Seniors. Perfect. Yeah. Now, uh, one other question. Do you have gift certificates? We do have gift certificates, yes, and they're good at the Rangeley store or this store. Perfect. Come on down and check it out. Lots of great new items and, of course, a very popular uh, main oh. flag hats and hats and shirts and more and all right here. Shirts and bags and flags and koozies and whatever you want. We've got it here with that main flag on it. You heard it here first. We're here at the Maiden Main Shop right here in Kingfield. Stop by. Thanks, Julie. Thank you. It's watching wind here on Ski TV. My name's Greg Powers, living the dream, Mountainside Real Estate, presenting this quad cam shot available on our website, WSKITV.com. And as I told you earlier, we're now streaming on the Spectrum app. You just go to the Spectrum app and there'll be those little squares go right across there. There'll be one that says Spectrum, boom. And you click on that, it'll take you right to the Spectrum app, check your subscription, and uh, there we are. Bob's your Bob's your uncle. And uh, also, we, we are streaming on our website, and we're streaming on our YouTube station. We're just streaming everywhere. And uh, we hope that you'll tune in. And we got Watch and Win right here. And uh, I'm going to bring you a picture. Hold on, it needs my face. Hold on. Uh, we have got another Watch and Win. Fabulous prize package right now. Don't ever do that while you're on the air, Greg. Thank you. It's a WSKI hat and a pack. And there's also some other things in it. Just trust me. It's a fabulous prize package. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to read a little context, uh, give it a little context before you tune in on that uh, picture. But, but here it is. And um, uh, this right here, this picture we're about to show you, is a tradition that dates back thousands of years. There's groups of men and now women who don monster-like masks and elaborate costumes made of fur, animal skins, feathers, and leftover lost and found items. No, I made that up. Uh, uglier the better, held together by belts and huge hanging bells, they dance around to scare away evil spirits of the past and often go door to door. <laughs> Boy, wouldn't I like to have them show up at my door. Here we go. Let's show the picture. There it is. Now, what country? is this bizarre celebration happening. Hi, who do we have on the phone? Uh, this is I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you got beeped. Um, uh, I don't know why. I've got, t give us that again. What was your name again? Chaz. Okay. Chaz. Chaz. Thank you, Chaz. The phone rang over your voice. Chaz, where do you think this um, elaborate um, monster, donning monster-like Costumes. Where, where do, what country do you think this celebration happens? It's a winter event. Uh, the best guess I have is Scotland. Oh, it is not Scotland, but thank you for that guess, Chaz. Uh, our next caller. Hi, who's this? And? Debbie. Debbie. Hi, Debbie, what country... Uh, this uh, tradition, this winter celebration, dates back thousands of years. What what uh, country? What country is it? Germany. No, it is not. But thank you for that guess. Nine. <laughs> 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 
I, I, I hung up on you. I'm sorry. Oh, who's it on the phone? Hi, who's this? Hi, it's Tenley. Tenley? What country do you think this is? I think it's Russia. No, it is not. Oh, but thank you for that guess. Our next caller. Hi, who do we have on the phone? Hello? Hi, it's Greg. What's your name? Hi, this is Julie. Hi, Julie. What, what, what country do you think this is? I think it's Bulgaria. It is Bulgaria! <laughs> All right! You got it! You, you, we just have to have the picture crappy enough so, so no one can Google it with AI or anything. So we, I don't know how you knew that, but... You're a big winner. You got a prize package. You're in for the uh, for the gloves as well. The heated mitts. One size fits everyone. And uh, oh, stay really. <laughs> you stay on the line right now, uh, and we'll be right back. And we're gonna have another trivia question. Stay with us. It's, it's Ski TV. <laughs> My name is Barb Larson and I've been a sugar loafer since I was about 10 years old. My favorite way to spend the day at Sugarloaf is without a doubt with my daughter and my husband taking some turns on the mountain. We live here, we work here, our kids are in the programs. We have our finger on the pulse of the market every single day. If you're looking to buy or sell, please come and visit. We're nearly skiing, ski out right off of Main Street at Sugarloaf. Who's tired of standing in the beer aisle trying to make sense of 1,000 different IPAs? Can't there just be an easy choice? Shipyard's American Pale Ale cuts through the noise. It is the American Craft Classic. Perfectly balanced and bursting with just the right amount of modern hop flavors. This is a beer for beer lovers that just don't need to overthink it. Delicious, flavorful, craft you can rely on. Shipyard APA. The perfect choice every time. I love to come here with my family. I love the bag sauce. Wood-fired pizza for me. Their pizza's the best. Bag burgers are one of the best things in the world. After a day of skiing, it's the best way to end your day. Uncle's, Uncle's winter. winter. Uncle's, Uncle's winter. winter. The best burgers I've ever had. It was amazing. Well, I guess I try, just told a big fib, but more Watch and Win tomorrow, and uh, we'll pick it up tomorrow morning, and uh, tune in, because Captain Kip will be with us, we'll give you a first tracks report, we'll give you weather, trail conditions, and we'll continue with Watch and Win, we've got some great information for you as well, with another Watch and Win tomorrow night, and drawing for the gloves on Sunday. On behalf of all of us here at WSKI-TV, thanks for tuning in, we'll see you tomorrow morning.